Hello everyone and welcome to this Lightarama tutorial for the S6 control panel. In this video, we'll talk about how to set up your network so that you can use a computer to run your show. To set your networks, open the Lightarama control panel and navigate to the Networks tab. If this is your first time setting up your networks, this screen will be blank and you'll see the number 0 by the Networks tab. Plug an adapter into a USB port on your computer, then click Add. Here, you'll choose what type of adapter you've just connected. In this tutorial, we're just going to use the standard high-speed USB adapters. The next screen will prompt you to set your network. The first box lets you name your network if you don't want to keep the default name, and the second option lets you choose your actual network. The first network on a Lightarama system is called the regular network, and additional networks are auxiliary networks, going in order by letter. For example, aux A would be your second network, aux B would be your third network, and so on and so forth. If you've purchased sequences, pay close attention to the default layout and what networks you'll need to set up to run your show. To actually establish the network, make sure this checkbox is active. That way, when you choose the dropdown to set your COM port, you'll only see what's connected to your computer. In my case, it's COM5, but yours may be a different number. The speed depends on the controllers you have connected to the network. The default in S6 is 500k, but if you have older AC controllers, you'll need to lower the speed. If you have an all-pixel network, you might be able to raise the speed. Click this link to learn more about why and when your network should be set at something besides 500k. The last option is the Use Enhanced LOR toggle. Smart pixels must be on an enhanced network at at least 500k to operate. All Gen 3 controllers are able to play on an enhanced network. If your AC controllers are working but your smart pixels aren't, this is the first setting you should check when troubleshooting. Follow the same process to add additional networks. Connect another USB 485 adapter to the computer, then click Add and select the adapter type. Clicking the Network dropdown will show us that Regular is already in use, so aux A is the next network by default. Selecting the port shows that COM5 and COM9 are the ports on my computer, so since Regular is already associated with 5, aux A needs to be on 9. Click Save to add the network. Repeat this process until all of your networks are added. If your networks are established and connected, you'll see green check marks on this screen, and a green number showing the number of networks connected over on this tab. This is a great way to easily see if anything gets unplugged. If I remove an adapter, the whole number on the tab turns red to show that there's a problem. Then coming back to the Networks tab shows that the adapter for my regular network has been removed. All I have to do is plug it back in, wait a few moments for the computer to acknowledge the device, and the control panel will re-establish communication. If you ever need to alter the settings on a network, make sure it's selected, then just click Edit. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.